I'm Molly McHugh, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, battery swapping may be coming to the Tesla, the Oculus Rift rolls out at E3, and Yahoo takes Stadium Tech to the next level. With supercharger stations popping up across the country this year, Tesla is on a mission to increase the range of its fully electric luxury sedans. But what if the supercharger's one hour recharge time is too long of a wait? On Thursday, Tesla founder Elon Musk will host what he calls a live pack swap demonstration at the company's Hawthorne, California design studio. His announcement on Twitter didn't reveal much other than saying video of a battery pack swap will be posted after the event. Now, it's safe to assume that rolling out a battery swapping service to Tesla owners will be costly. But at a base price of nearly $70,000, Tesla's flagship vehicle, the Model S, is targeted at early adopters who would likely pay for this type of convenience. At last week's E3, it was tough to miss the Oculus Rift VR headset. A whole host of developers embraced the new technology, showing off games and accessories designed to capitalize on the immersive VR headset. And with all the buzz, it was a foregone conclusion that the Rift would be available to the public soon. Now, thanks to 16 million in funding secured last week, it appears to be on its way. Oculus plans to use the cash infusion to hire more people, experiment, and quote, build a badass consumer VR gaming platform, the likes of which the world has never seen. Pre-orders for the $300 headset are already being accepted, but there is no timetable for delivery yet. When designing an NFL stadium, over the top is the new normal. With a price tag of over $1.2 billion and an address in the middle of Silicon Valley, the new home of the San Francisco 49ers will, of course, be state of the art. And Bay Area tech giant Yahoo just signed a 10-year deal to be the exclusive partner for online digital content at the new stadium. Inside, the place will be completely cash-free and ticketless, with free Wi-Fi for fans. Smartphone apps will allow you to order food, watch instant replays, listen to play-by-play, -play, check bathroom lines, and even connect your photos to the Jumbotron, with Flickr, presumably. And when fans look up from their devices, they can actually watch an NFL football game being played right in front of them. Microsoft Office is now available to iPhone users in the form of a free download. But if you want access to your documents, that will cost you. Take a look at our hands-on review of Office for iOS in the mobile section right now. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.